Hello everyone, Sherlock fan number one here with another movie theory slash analyzation. And stick with me, I know the title seems like clickbait, but hear me out. This theory revolves around Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, a Disney movie made back in 1937, and is a story of the young princess Snow White who seeks refuge with the Seven Dwarfs when her evil stepmother sets out to do whatever it takes to become the fairest of them all. However, you're probably aware by now of this movie and what happens, so let's just skip ahead to the moment the movie takes a dark turn. And that is when the Wicked Queen, now disguised as an elderly witch, convinces a unknowing Snow White to eat the poisoned apple, thus she perishes. However, later when the prince from earlier shows up, we see him kiss her awake. Or does he? You see, the movie leads us to believe that the true love's kiss awakens Snow White from death. But what if actually Snow White never really woke up, but actually ended up dying and going to heaven where she was able to live with the prince happily ever after? Now, I know what you're going to say, but the prince doesn't die, so how can that be possible? Well, that's where things get complicated. However, in the ending of the movie, it does appear that the castle the prince is leading Snow White to is in the sky and surrounded by clouds. So maybe she died and then was able to reconnect with the prince and live out her happily ever after because that's everything she had wished for. Thus, in heaven, she's living with the prince and in a castle. Now, keep in mind, this is all just a theory I had while re-watching this film the other day. But, of course, if you have any input on my theory, or even a theory of your own you'd like to share in the comments below, be sure to let me know. And thanks for watching. This is Sherlock Phantom 1, signing off. Thanks.